Welcome back to another. Go. No, no, no. Just wait until you're ready. <laughs> well, I didn't know you were going to start. What was funny? I was making faces. Oh, 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 you were making faces when I started? Is that why? <laughs> Got it. Before you started, I was doing this. And then you started as I was doing that. Okay, are you ready now? Yeah. All right. Welcome to another uncorking. Uh, today it's Valentine's Day and my lovely wife got me an awesome bottle of 19, sorry, 1792 foolproof. Someone's dyslexic. Maybe, just a tiny bit. Um, what's special about this, if uh, you're not familiar with it, is uh, it's called foolproof because this is uh, barrel strength. It comes out of the barrel, goes right into the bottle. There's no water added to proof it down to 80 proof or whatnot. Uh, and what comes out of the barrel is what you got in the bottle. Um, so it's usually really, really high in alcohol content and pretty hot. Um, this one here, uh, it's drawn at 125 proof. Now to put that in perspective, your regular Jack Daniels is 80 proof. So we're jumping up, what, another 60? To 120, 40, 45. 45, sorry. My math isn't the greatest either. But uh, the theory between behind that is the fact that if you don't dilute it down to, you know, your 80 proof or whatnot, um, with that extra, what are you doing? Oh, she's gonna get going. Um, you get more flavor from the barrel and everything. There's no water diluting it down from the proofing it down. So you get more of the caramel flavor, more of the, the vanilla flavor, more of the actual barrel uh, flavor. And uh, But the contrast to that is the fact that the alcohol content is rather high and uh, sometimes it's, 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 it's uh, pretty sharp. But uh, we'll give this one a go and see what, see what we think. And you so. can see that there's a nice color tone to this. It's uh, dark brown whereas caramely yeah you can see from the color comes typically from the um char in the bourbon barrel so yep it's a little richer because of the fact that there hasn't been any water added to it to proof it down at all as well Ooh, that one had a good pop too and for me i'm always a sucker to just smell the cork fair oh that smells actually really good um i do believe that this was um, yeah, we'll do a little more. It's Valentine's Day. Um, I do believe that this was voted last year, 2019, uh, I think top bourbon. I believe uh, you're correct on that. For, for that year. It was voted best bourbon of the year. So, this particular one, the foolproof, not the, uh, small, small batch. batch yeah. Which is also very, very good, by the way. Cheers. There's definitely that good burn when you take that first sip and my lips are a little chapped and I could taste <laughs> it stung going down. They're sterile now. <laughs> oh yeah. Getting some warmth right here in the chest. It's very caramel that's that, uh, that's that alcohol proof. Yeah, it's got a real strong caramel flavor to it. A little hint of vanilla and everything. Ooh. Uh, just let it settle. It's, uh, Some of us can hold our be liquor better than others. I can hold my liquor fine, sweetie. It's uh, just it's warm. It's warm on the chest, but very, 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 very good. So there's a little bit of a trade-off between the two. And the yeah, consistency when you look at it in the glass, it looks a little, a little bit thicker than some of our other bourbons that we would drink. Yep. Yeah. And that's just because it hasn't been diluted down. So you got that corn and barley in there. And the rye. Rye, so that makes a different consistency when it's not watered down. Yeah, it's just like, super good, though. Bourbon and, cookies? Well, bourbon cookies. Yeah, well, oh. Did we, we did use a little bit of this at one time with bourbon cookies, didn't we? I have not. Um, yeah, but I don't know if you want to use be, this. This, oh, would I would. Really, this would be really good. This would be expensive cookies. 
But uh, no, I think no, it's you a. You can't put price on a cookie. You can't put price on a cookie. That's no, a, a bourbon. That, that's a shirt right there for Sesame Street <laughs> Cookie Monster. You can't put a price on a cookie. That's your tip for the day. Um, but yeah, it's it's really full in body flavor. Um, it is pretty hot as far as the alcohol content goes. Alcohol, alcohol, alcohol content goes. Um, but uh, you know. The nice part is if you want to, you can add a couple drops of water to it or you can put it on an ice cube and uh, it'll become a little easier. Um, it's a, to me, I'm used to high proof whiskeys and everything. It's a, uh, Bourbon. it's a bourbons too. Um, it's a good drinker. It's got a little bit of that big heat to it because of the temperature of the, uh, you know, the volume of the proof. But, uh, you know, I, I score it very, very high. I believe it, you know, I believe it when they say this could be, you know, 2019's best whiskey of the year. Um, yeah, so. you were right on that vanilla and caramel. Aha! Aha, you're welcome. So, that's our slight little review on 1792 Full Proof. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.